this video was shared by Chaos Magic and he believes that their CCTV camera captured something really terrifying. Apparently there's an urban legend about a little girl which is half goat and half human that can be seen wandering around in the midst of night ever so often and Chaos believes that a camera could actually capture her and he asks the internet for help. She was captured around 3.30 a.m. Let's take a look. Can you see the alleged goat legs? Apparently they are there. What do you think is going on here? Something unexplainable? Or something from another realm perhaps? Now let's take another look at the case of security officer Tim Saber, who after starting a new job and working the night shift had experienced some pretty odd happenings at his new workplace. The storage facilities he was patrolling seemed to be home to a lot of paranormal activity, why however is unknown. And this was one of the first really strange encounters that Tim had captured on his phone. A pale pair of feet can be seen in one of the stalls and what's interesting about this is that Tim stated that he didn't see them at first, only after looking at the area for a few seconds did they manifest to the human eye. How eerie. After this incident he was already extremely freaked out and he had to start recording these incidents now more and more, since this sighting was not an isolated one. In one instance, an ominous roar echoed through the halls. <laughs> Followed by a locker door swinging open on its own accord. These unexplained occurrences became his haunting reality. Drawn by mysterious banks, Tim's curiosity led him to an abandoned warehouse, filled with an assortment of forgotten objects. Hello? Here the paranormal activity intensified. A mannequin crashed to the floor, followed by the shattering of glass. 
The air grew heavy with a woman's cry and another spine-chilling roar. What the f- Whoa! Hello? Many were certain that Tim had to deal with something demonic in this facility and that it had gotten quite dangerous for him. Somebody was clearly standing at the end of the hallway, and based on Tim's reports, this was nothing human. Here, Tim seems to have captured the arms and hands of a shadow being that wasn't stemming from our realm. He was so afraid that night that he had to give in his notice because he simply couldn't handle all of that any longer and who can blame him. My last night shift at the facility. So Tim went on and documented his last night at this haunted facility and he couldn't wait to finally put this extremely scary adventure behind him. But it seemed that during his last night, that during his last shift, whatever was living in those storage facilities wanted to make sure that he would never forget this night. A woman's silhouette, more distinct than ever, sat in the corner, as the female figure locked eyes with him. The recording abruptly ended, leaving us in suspense. The fate of Tim and the truth behind his encounters remain shrouded in uncertainty. We may never know the full story, and the final verdict rests in your hand. This is another feed from a security camera, which was saved by the staff members of an old pub in the UK. There have been many legends talking about spirits that can be seen in there ever so often. Once in a while there's poltergeist activity that seems to be happening after closing hours when nobody is on the premises anymore. Tonight one staff member noticed something rather strange and shared the incident with his colleagues.
Look at it. Look at oh. that. It's getting more prominent. Right, I'll come up now in a minute. I'll we'll get a tester. The end is getting bigger. I know. That's freaky. Oh, oh my god, look at that! See that? <gasps> oh, it goes there! If that was wind, it wouldn't go Camera 2 seems to have some wispy activity going on. Some thick strings of light, almost mist like. The cleaning staff could confirm that this had not been spider webs in front of the camera, making everybody believe that this indeed is some paranormal action. It's quite intriguing for sure. But take a good look at what one of the other security cameras had captured another night. camera was mounted towards the bar counter. A lot of movement. Many believe this to be a glimpse of the spirit that is roaming this old pub. Maybe they are right? The following is another video, which was uploaded by a Reddit user to the paranormal section. He found something really odd unfolding in one of the latest episodes of the show American Pickers. He states, I noticed something really odd in season 22, episode 12. The team is scavenging through an unused building and there appears to be a figure which you can barely see in the original episode. It's much clearer on my phone recording though. It looks like a ghost walking on the right side of the screen and I can confidently say that it was not a team member. Get to the top of the stairs. Holy cow. It does look a bit strange and I couldn't fully say what exactly it is. Can you? If it wasn't a member of the team, as Ronan states, was it a ghost? I mean, it is quite weird that this person is appearing out of the pitch darkness, wouldn't you say? Let me hear what you think. Shane recorded the following footage of his cat reacting to his basement door opening. He states that every time he closes the door, strange stuff happens. It apparently opened by itself several times. A day prior, something was whispering in Shane's ear while he was in a voice call with his girlfriend. He also says that his Wi-Fi cuts off randomly after the door opens. And he even saw something darting around the corner after the door opened this morning. Another unsettling part of his story tells about his dog passing away when he was 11 and his stepdad lifting him off and bringing him to the vet. Shane passed by the door once more that day and saw the dog's head floating above the bed before it disappeared. How intriguing 
in a follow-up video, he tries to debunk any theories that the door was not shutting fully. He swears that it opened by itself, possibly by a paranormal force. The following security guard states that other staff has been seeing strange shadow sightings in this grocery store for quite some time now and that nobody could ever really explain this phenomenon. It happens so frequently that staff are already joking about the shopping shadows they see. And tonight the guard seems to have captured the activity on camera. Ahí arriba esa. De ahí en más. Pues estoy solo, les digo, estaba todo solo ahorita. Solo, solo. Y ahorita vi algo allá. En la entrada de clientes. Hasta allá, hasta el último. Y lo vi clarito, clarito. Ya lo vi otra vez. A veces, a veces alcanza a ver. No, me da miedo ir. A eso, eso que se mira ahí. Ese. Miren, ya se movió. ¡Oh! Está caminando, de hecho, hasta que no, no manches. There clearly is a dark silhouette walking in the aisle in the background. And if it wasn't another staff member or customer, do we have to believe that this one is one of these shadows that the man was telling us about in the beginning? How eerie. This is a recording from a surveillance camera in an older apartment complex. We will see three residents entering an elevator at different times and on different floors. The camera seems to pick up something else though, which appears to be waiting in one of the corners of the elevator. As the first lady exits the elevator, we can't really pick up anything that would look out of place. Shortly after, a second person caused the elevator up to the fourth floor. He enters and makes his way down to the first floor. While this is taking place, a lady on the second floor is calling for the elevator next. Notice how a humanoid shape all of a sudden is now standing in the corner of the elevator. It travels up to the second floor, ready for the lady to step in. It appears to be empty at this point. takes it down to the first floor and the humanoid shape is gone. Pretty curious, isn't it? The man in the following recording was just relaxing on his sofa when all of a sudden the door in the background swung open.
To this day, he's lacking any form of explanation of what could have caused this. This video was recorded by Fernando Victoroli, who is walking at the local train station. The station itself is apparently haunted, at least that is what several eyewitnesses stated. But oftentimes these stories are not really true and just serve as a creepy local legend. Fernando is working the night shift with his colleagues and they navigate trains into their parking positions and take care of mechanical issues and other fixes that might come up. They wear GoPros strapped around their heads on their nightly sessions for security reasons. One night, Fernando was on the way back to the station and was walking past an abandoned train car with a couple of guys. They stated that nobody else would have been on the tracks, especially that late, but his camera could record something curious. What could his GoPro capture here? It looks as if a person with long hair is looking out of one of the passenger trains. Of course it was empty and locked from the outside for inspection purposes. So what are we looking at here? Is it a spirit that might be visiting this train station? If it's not a prank, I can't say what else it could be. It's interesting that Fernando didn't react at that time. Probably didn't see it. What do you guys think? Next we are looking at a video that was sent by Thomas. Apparently he had found it on a channel called Shimmy Jim Hog. It features a young man who was hearing mysterious noises from the sewer near his house. This night he wanted to see where the noises actually came from. You can probably hear it in the background right now. Granted, the premise of this sounds like straight out of a horror movie. Coming up on the tunnel right now. And maybe it is. I'm hearing the noises. Inside the tunnel. As the man approaches the tunnel, we can hear a creature in the far. I really just want to make contact with this creature. This apparently was not enough to keep the man at bay, and he ventures deeper into the tunnel systems, which apparently were still in use. The closer he comes to the creature, the more it makes its presence known. I'm sure many of us are familiar with these sounds. They are pretty similar to the rake. Now let's look at that again. Certainly looks like the rake, doesn't it? Even if it is a setup, it's an entertaining clip in my opinion. The following clip was shared by Caters and it was captured by Dan Litchfield and his team. They were investigating a supposedly paranormal hotspot in Mansfield, Knotts, which is called the village. 
it would appear that during their investigation, their camera might have captured a shadowy figure standing in the background and possibly looking at the team. The team is sure that this couldn't have been a piece of furniture or other item that was placed there. Legends tell of several monks that were seeking refuge in this place and that many of them found a tragic end in there during the dissolution of the monasteries. Do you think they could have captured one of the spirits here? Or are we just seeing things? Take a look at one of Franco TV's latest adventures. He had his friend Jero with him, and together they were preparing a YouTube live session in which they were exploring a graveyard in the middle of the night. While many consider this a scary situation already, it is the things that we might not see at the time that make these experiences even more creepy. Now let's listen in for a moment. Just to look around. So, if you see anything cold or anything weird or creepy, that would just sound like a voice. You did, right? After playing around with the K2 meter and the thermal camera, they hear the first unusual noise. Let's keep walking because I want to make sure there's no like wires underneath. Oh, oh, hold on. Sorry, I didn't mean to blind you. Yo, I'm like at a solid orange, or 2.5 to a 10. Where did that sound sound like it came from? Was it from back there? Yeah. Or from over here? It sounds like it was from over there. That's what I thought. Then they make it into a dark crypt and see if they can hear that noise again. Okay, so let's, I'm going to be as respectful as I can. Is there anybody here with me inside this tomb? They didn't figure out where exactly the noise came from. Maybe it was an animal. Maybe another person on the graveyard, perhaps. I was going out to the cemetery that I love to explore around at night, but it's lightning way too bad down here. Don't play with lightning. Some viewers claimed that they saw a figure standing at the end of this pathway, but we can't be sure that it isn't just a headstone, can we? Franco didn't see it at the time. But then there was something else that remained unseen until Franco's viewers pointed it out way later. Oh. Hence that old lady, <laughs> which is terrifying. Alright, you ready to go back in? Yeah. We'll go. How is my battery life on this? Good. I'm at 62% right now. A semi-transparent apparition is manifesting on the pathway the moment Franco is walking by and it looks like as if it is passing towards the right and it can be seen once more after Franco is panning the camera towards the right again. Could he capture the spirit of a deceased one here? Truly magnificent capture.
This was captured by a security officer who was patrolling the San Francisco armory and it would appear that something rather eerie unfolded this night. This is what I'm talking about, dude. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I'm here in this building by myself, bro. By myself. Was it perhaps a ghost that is still roaming this old armory, or just a little breeze? Based on the officer's account, the doors are heavy and can't just be pushed open like that. So we can only speculate in the end if this was a ghostly encounter or something more explainable. take a look at TikTok user Rochelle Rochelle, who is a young girl that in the past has posted several personal videos about her family and in particular her beloved dog. However, all of these videos are gone, except one that remains on her profile. It would appear that Rochelle's sister was over that day. So, while she was recording the dog of her sister, there appears to be a really strange apparition in the background, possibly, and as Rochelle tells us later, some really strange things were happening lately anyways. I've been trying to do a voiceover for the past now and just something is like not allowing me to do it. But lately I've been feeling like I'm being watched by someone or something and my dog has been acting so strange. And today my sister was recording him and I'm trying to get a cute video of him sleeping. And look at what she sees in the background guys, I cannot make this up. It's real. We're both scared for a and then the video ended. Now, what's going on here? Some people do say that it appears like the spirit of a child that is looking down. Do you agree with them? If that's not the case, what else could it be? And why are there no other videos on her profile anymore? It's very curious for sure. This video was sent by Liu and she told me that she found this clip on TikTok after it had been shared on Instagram TV initially. I have put the original Instagram name on screen for you. The story goes that this young woman started recording in the middle of the night. Little side note, the demon appears to be haunting her place. Scratching noises can be heard here, but we're seemingly stemming from underneath her bed. Here she believes to have heard her roommate. But the demon also seems to have made it out of the bedroom. Take a good look at that thing. What exactly is that? Looks like a nightmare manifestation, doesn't it? And then the noises stop. Is the demon gone, perhaps?
Do we get another good shot at the demon? Or a person in a mask? What do you think? It's certainly pretty creepy. Kind of feels like a horror project though to me. Still, I feel it deserves a place on our list this week. Terrifying. <laughs>